Okay, so welcome everyone. So here we are again together with another wonderful question uh, based on number system and a very important concept of base system. So there are various bases. Some of the students uh, get confused in the different kind of base systems. What is that base system? And there was a time uh, that uh, Cat used to use uh, the topic of base system regularly. So, but still you find the questions on base system at various places in various competitive exams. So, we are here with one wonderful question. So, as usual, you are going to have certain time. You can pause your video or take a screenshot and first try to solve this question on your own. After that, we shall discuss it together. And your time starts now. Okay. So, I hope you have solved it. Or agar nahi solved kiya hai, to stop here, go back. Go back and solve the question. Try to solve the question. Jitna time lage lagao, but solve the question. Reach to the answer of the question. Right? Anyway, so let's, let's start discussing now. It says, Rohan wrote a program on his computer to generate and display the binary equivalents. Now, what is this binary equivalents? It is base 2, right? Base 2. You remember uh, when we write any number in binary or base 2, uh, we are using only two digits. Basically, that was the meaning of binary. Binary means by refers to 2, right? So, we use only two different symbols or digits to write all the numbers. And what are the two different numbers we use in binary system? That is 0 and 1, right? We replace, uh, we convert all the numbers which we are using generally in only two numbers that is 0 and 1. So, every number can be written in the format of 0 and 1, 0 and 1, that's it. So, so that's how this uh, person, Rohan, a programmer, is writing a program to write all these uh, numbers, binary equivalents of all the first n natural numbers. First n natural number, that means starting from 1, 2, 3 and so on up to a certain number. So, if a total of 192 ones were displayed in the output of the program, find n. So basically, uh, we need to find out total how many numbers he have converted or displayed in this binary equivalent values. And uh, while doing this, he has used exactly 192 ones, right? 192 times he has used the letter or digit 1, right? So kitre numbers, that's what we have to find out. So how we can find out that? So the pattern is a very important word, right? Pattern is a very important word. And it may be tricky also if you are unable to see the pattern. And for those who are curious, who's, who's, uh, who's, uh, who, have, who have got special sense of sensing the patterns, uh, that must be really uh, enjoyable thing for them, right? Uh, but let's try to see. Patterns exist all around us. All around us patterns exist. So we need to be vigilant to find out, all right? Okay, so let's see what pattern would be there. So here, uh, I hope all of you know how to convert a number from uh, natural numbers or base 10 to binary numbers, right? So let's write a few numbers first. So if I'm writing only single digit numbers, uh, let's say uh, 1. So 1 when you write in binary, it is 1 only, right? One uh, When you write in binary, it is 1 only. But uh, 2, when you write 2 in binary, so when you write 2 in binary, it becomes a 2 digit number, right? So it is written as 1, 0, something like this. It is 1, 0, right? Now in base 10, we use it for 1's place, then 10's place, right? And in binary, it is 1's place and 2's place, then 2 squares place, then 2 cubes place and so on. So like that, this is 1's place and this is 2's place. So this is 1, 2 and 0, 1. So it is 2, right? This is binary. Same way, uh, when we write 3, it comes out to be 1, 1. Right? Now, this is 1, 2, this is group of 2 and this is single number. So, 2 plus 1, this is 3 basically. So, when we write 4, it comes out to be 3 digit number because uh, there are no 1s, there are no 2s, this is simply 4s. So, this is 1 group of 4 and 0 group of 2s and 0 group of 1s, like that. So, that's how you can convert all the numbers in binary. But are we going to write all the such numbers in that way? Certainly not. So, 1, 0, 1 is the next number. 6, we would be writing in that way. 1, uh, 1, 0. Isn't it? And after that, 7 would be 1, 1, 1. You can check also as I was telling you. This is a group of 4. That is 4, uh, 1 group of 4, 1 group of 2. So 4 plus 2, that makes it 6. And this is 1 group of 4, 1 group of 2 and 1 uh, single 1, right? So 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is 7. So, so these are all 3 digit numbers. So if I check the pattern, so till 1 digit number, I wrote only 1 digit number. So how many 1s I had used here? How many 1s I had used here? Only 1, right? Only 1. So now, if I talk about up to all two digit numbers, when I'm using all the up to two digit numbers, so total how many times one we have used here? So one, then two, three, four. It is four. You can see this. 
right? And when I have written all the numbers till all the three digit numbers, because after that, when I'm writing eight, it will become a four digit number because this is the largest three digit number I can write in this binary equivalent. So up to three digit numbers when I'm writing, so total how many times that digit one has been used? So it has been four so far. After that, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So this becomes 12. Are you able to sense any pattern so far? Uh, oh, it looks uh, typical. Let's proceed one step ahead. By the way, uh, I can suggest you something. This is multiple of one, right? We are talking about till one digit number only. This is multiple of two. This number is multiple of two. We were talking about uh, a number still uh, two digit numbers, right, in binary. And because here we were talking about the three digit numbers in binary, so this term is multiple of three. So it appears that the next term, uh, when we go up to the four digit number, it must be multiple of four. Let's check out and confirm the pattern first, right? Let's confirm the pattern first. So when I'm talking about uh, the four digit numbers also, so first tell me, uh, how many four digit numbers would be formed? Can you suggest something? How many four digit numbers would be formed? You can see, uh, among one digit number, we have we are not using zero, so it's only one number. In two digit numbers, we got four numbers. In uh, these three digit numbers, we got uh, uh, four numbers here. This was two numbers, there are four numbers. So two, four, and this would be eight. Yes, it is going to be eight numbers. So one number, two number, four number, and this is going to be eight. You have seen that number of numbers are becoming doubled, right? Number of numbers are becoming doubled. Pahle ek hi number tha, ab do number a gaye, ab ye char number a gaye, and there are going to be eight numbers. So how this is going to be eight numbers? That's very easy to write. So this eight is the first number. Now first place will be filled by one. Now this first place refers here, uh, which we call basically thousands place. Here it is eights place, right? So there's one group of eight, and no group of fours, no group of twos, and no single ones, right? So that is the smallest number. 8, uh, which is having 4 digit in binary equivalent. Same way when you look for 9, so we are going to have 1 bundle of 9, 1 group of 9, and 1 group of 1, right? So there are no groups of 4, no groups of 2s. So that is same way place value used in normal base 10, same way we are using in binary, and same is applicable basically for all base systems. That's why I'm extending them. That's why I'm saying that the, all the questions which we are discussing in this series, we are not discussing single question. We are discussing a concept and that is going to be extended to any extent, right? That can be extended to any extent. Okay, let's move further fast. So uh, 10, 10 would be what? So 10 would be having one group of uh, 8 and one group of 2, right? So that is 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving further, uh, what about 11? So it is going to be one uh, group of eight, eight and two, 10 and one 11, it's one zero one one. And you can see the pattern, increasing pattern as well. So the next number would be 12, that is one group of eight and one group of four, right? One, one, zero, zero. After that, you are having one, one, zero, one. Then 14 would be one, 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 zero. And finally, 15 would be the largest four digit number in base two or binary. That is 1111, right? That is uh, 8 plus 4, 12 went to 14 and 115. Fine. Uh, so basically, we have already identified there are going to be total 8 numbers. Now, uh, continuing with our pattern, so if I include all the numbers still uh, 4 digit numbers in binary, so what will be the total number of 1s? See, so far we have used 12 here, right? 12 ke baad, let's add further. So 12 ke baad, this is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So this comes out to be 32, including that part. This comes out to be 32, All right? Now, let's try to observe the pattern. I was telling you, this is multiple of one, this is multiple of two, this is multiple of three, this is multiple of four, right? This is multiple of four. So what else? Can we uh, further clarify this? Uh, let's see. So I'm writing these parts here. So this one was one only. This was one into basically two power zero, right? I can write it like that. This is one into two power zero. And what about this four? This four is basically two into two power one, right? This was two into two power one. And this 12 is basically three into two power two. Isn't it? And same way this 32 is basically 4 into 2 power 3. Yes or no? I hope this pattern is clear to you now. 
here we had used the digits up to all the four digit numbers in binary. So this four is the first part into two raised to power that four minus one. So that is a general pattern now. So in general, what I can say, if I'm writing, now that's my conclusion, that's my conclusion of this observing this after observing this pattern here. If I, if I write all the numbers from one to two raised to power n in binary, right? If I write these numbers in binary format, so uh, <clears throat> how many ones would be used? You can see that this 2 power n would be a n plus 1 digit number, right? Uh, let's say isko hum, uh, 2 power n minus 1 tak hi baat karte hain, right? 2 power n minus 1 tak hi baat karte hain. So this is going to be uh, numbers up to n digit number, right? This will be the largest n digit number. So how many times the digit 1 would be used? It is going to be n into 2 raised to power n minus 1. So that is the conclusion here. So when we write all natural numbers from 1 up to 2 power n minus 1, then how many times the digit 1 would be written here? It is going to be n times 2 raised to power n minus 1. That's it. That's a net conclusion. Now in this question, it is given that uh, this total number of 1s, if a total of 192 ones were displayed in this output of program, find the value of n. So we need to find out that last number. What was that last number? if this total of 192 ones have been written. Let's identify 192. So 192, uh, does it fit this category or not? Let's see. So 192, if you factorize, <coughs> 192, if you factorize, uh, it would be how much? Uh, if I put n is equal to, uh, it is not certainly multiple of 5. We can see it, it is not necessary that uh, we have written all the numbers till 2 raised to 2 and minus 1. It, they may have used a lesser number. So basically, I am trying to identify that number, uh, which is of this format. It may be 192 or it may be less than that. After that, we can further count, right? So uh, uh, if I use for a number, let's say 5. Agar 5 ta ki hum baat karte hain, so 5 into 2 power 4, that is 16 into 5, 80. That would be a smaller number. So up till it's not five digit number, it's for the increasing. So agar main six ta ki baat karta hoon, this would be six times two raised to power five, right? Now two power five is how much? This is 32 and 32 into six, how much it is? So 32 into six, 32 into two is 64, 64 into three is 192. Yes, it satisfies. That means, that means we have got it. We have got it. So basically this n is nothing but six here, right? This is six times two power five, which suggest, which suggest that what is uh, it's fine, na? Yes. So, uh, so what what numbers we have used basically? This is not two power n minus one. Let me correct it. This was not two power n minus one. It was a number one short of that. It is not two power n minus one. It is basically two power n minus one. It is basically two power n minus one like that. Right. So when when we are this is two power n minus one is the largest n digit number here, right? So in this case, two power five that is thirty two minus one thirty one is the largest six digit number. So one ninety two ones would be used obviously uh, from starting from one up to one 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 two three four five and one more time six times one, right? So this is the largest six digit number, which is basically. <coughs> Uh, 31. We are talking about the six digit numbers. Yes, we are talking about the six digit numbers. And among the six digit numbers, this is the largest one. This is the largest one. So we have used all the six digit numbers. And this is the last number we are using it. So when we have used all the numbers starting from single digit number one, up to the six digit numbers, who's the last number, the largest number is one, 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 one. That is the last such number. So till that point, uh, so we have used exactly 192 ones, right? So this is suggested by this pattern here. The pattern we have already observed from here, right? Pattern we have already observed from here. So that's the whole thing. That's it. So so what is that largest number? What is the value of this number? Now you can check out very easily. So or you can identify it with the pattern also. So this is a number of uh, six digits. So this number is nothing but two power six minus one, as we had done here as well. So in this case, you can equate here. So n minus 1 is equal to 5, which means n is equal to 6, which means n is equal to 6, right? n is equal to 6 here. It is suggested directly from here as well. n is equal to 6. So n is equal to 6 means what is that last number? So n is equal to 6 suggests that 2 power 6 minus 1. So basically in this question, when it, where it writes this number n, so this n here, this n here is this 2 power 6 minus 1. Now what is 2 power 6 students? 2 power 6 is 64, right? So this is 64 minus 1, which is 63. That's it. 
Okay, so this is our answer. Option A is our answer here. That's it. Okay, so as I suggested earlier that uh, this is not a single question we are dealing. We are dealing uh, the family of question. See, in this question, in place of binary, if it becomes base 3 or base 4 or base 5 or whatever base, this pattern which we have observed here, that will always be followed. That pattern will always be followed. So in place of 2, if it is some other base, right, if it is some other base, still you are going to get the same pattern that till that number, till the last number of that many digits in that base when you are converting. So how many times the digit 1 would be used that will always be given by this part, right? So that many times uh, the digit 1 would be used. So that was the answer to this question. So answer here is 63. So exactly uh, we have used, uh, we have written all the numbers from 1 to 63 in binary and that's how we got exactly 192 ones. Okay, so I hope you have understood and uh, certainly uh, you may need to re, uh, uh, revise this whole video once again to understand the concept thoroughly, right? So thank you very much and we shall see you once again in another question in another session. Thank you.